NYPD expanding its community policing program to help fight graffiti. It has become a growing problem across the five boroughs since we went into lockdown, and Sharon Crowley shows us how officers are going to roll up their sleeves to help clean things up. I think it looks disgusting in our neighborhoods. It makes it look run down. These Brooklyn residents fed up with graffiti in their neighborhood. It's terrible, man. We want to get rid of it. Let New York City look like it used to be, clean. Lucky for them, the New York City Police Commissioner feels the same way. When you look around, it's spring, uh, we're coming out of COVID, but we, New York City needs a little sprucing up here today. So that's exactly what we aim to do. Commissioner Dermot Shea announcing the department's new initiative in front of graffiti on the Lower East Side. His plan calls for a one-day cleanup of graffiti on New York City streets. It's been a tough year, not just in New York City, uh, across this whole country. And this is about moving forward. It's about the recovery. It's about coming out together, cleaning up. And, and you know, that, that's the big statement we want to make. On Saturday, April 10th, police officers, community leaders, and volunteers will spend the day painting over graffiti in neighborhoods all over the city. We're going to clean up a lot of this graffiti that's really just a... Uh, all over the neighborhood and making it look bad. It's a neighborhood nuisance problem here on the Lower East Side. Police hope cleaning up together, people who live in these communities will have the added benefit of improving relationships between cops and residents. They've set up an email address where you can report graffiti in your neighborhood, graffiti at nypd.org. You can also let police know if vandals have come back to the same spot after it was painted over. Nothing, nothing that happened in the city we don't take a look at. Police have had thousands of complaints about graffiti during the pandemic when city streets were less crowded. They also saw more graffiti complaints coming after a summer of protests here. This initiative, they hope, will not just make New York streets look better, but might even make New Yorkers feel better. On the Lower East Side, Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.